10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off. As you can see on your screen, we've had a successful liftoff of our 14th Electron launch from Pad A at Launch Complex 1. One of the first launch milestones we'll come up against is Max Q, or Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure. What this basically means is this will be the point where Electron will undergo the maximum mechanical stress during launch. Pass through Max Q. Drink shape front 2. An electron has Entrance successfully front cleared front. max Q. AOS Chatham Station. Next up is Miko and separation of electrons first and second stage. Miko or main remaining. engine cutoff means the nine Rutherford engines on stage one will power down ahead of stage separation. Once we've had a clean separation of the stages, the vacuum optimized Rutherford engine on stage two will ignite and continue to propel the Capella payload to orbit. Five seconds to Miko. Separation. Stage two ignition. Successful separation and stage two ignition confirmed by mission control. All systems are continuing nominally. HVB battery discharge now. Fairing separation. You can see electrons fairing falling away from stage two. Items is nominal. Stage two propulsion is nominal. HVB discharge is holding nominal. We'll be ending the broadcast shortly after we hear the call for successful SECO and stage separation. 20 seconds remaining, guidance is nominal. And SECO confirmed. And as you just heard from the team in Mission Control, the engine on elect Electron's second stage has shut down and the kick stage has separated. The kick stage is now on its way towards payload deployment. We'll share the news of mission success on Rocket Lab's Twitter and Facebook pages, so keep an eye out for confirmation there. Before we close out, a big thank you to our mission partner, Capella Space, for joining us on our return to flight mission. I'm Ariana Ryan. And I'm Dominic Fu. This is Rocket Lab Mission Control, signing off. Yeah.